Alright, so apparently we're starting already. My father Howard deserted me before I was born. Then the loss of my mother the letter uh, blinded me into what I had to do. Oh, I'm playing N Penumbra, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna put that out there. My name is Philip. Fate frowns, we all perish. I might change the resolution. Maybe. Episode 1. Oh, no, this is episode 1. <laughs> Turn off all the lights. gonna make the same mistakes my father made. Hi, Philip. I would vanish from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day clearly averse to explanations. My father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. Mayfair! In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name. If you remember Daniel from Amnesia lived on Mayfair. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally Mayfair. declared dead almost uh -huh. 30 years ago, and so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. Oh my god, I was totally the not paying attention for a second. Book. My mind just went the completely notes, off. However, Whoops! Showed a location That's what you somewhere get when I'm like, trying to eat Northern cookies Greenland. while playing it took me almost a year to look at the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away the dark boat, beginning the 12-hour journey that would lead me into my past. It's like a marshmallow cookie 
It's chocolate covered. It's freaking fantastic. Fuck! I dropped chocolate on my shirt. I better stole my gear.
no! Whispering, nope. Ah, Jesus, my head, I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Maybe I didn't, what is this place? Oh, jeez. Hello. Box of ammunition. Barrel too heavy to lift. Freaking Barrels, traitors. I have to pee. How do I always have to pee when I start gaming? Damn. What is this? It's a flare. And the pipe thing. Pipe thingy. Okay, it looks like a pipe to me. Shut up. Basic wooden door. God, you always open things like hella slow in this game. Another flare high. <gasps> Hammer! Yes, I know. Okay, okay. Yes, I know basic controls. Thank you. Shelves are as old as everything else around here. Okie dokie. What is this? Damn, it's like hella dusty in here. More ammunition? Yeah. Nothing else? Okay. Welp! Here I go. Ugh! Stuck! All of the dicks. Okay. Bang! Bang! Fuck! <gasps> 